Now it's time to set up our routing with our application. We've already seen an example of how we do create a route, but we're going to structure this so things are nice and separated, so we're not putting everything within one file essentially. So what we're going to do is inside of app, we're going to create a new folder called roots. This is going to store uh, all of the roots for our application in separate files so we can manage them easily. And inside of app, we're also going to create a new file, which is going to pull in all of them roots so we can easily include them into start. So I'm going to call that roots.php. So we have roots.php and a, uh, a roots folder. Let's uh, inside of roots just create our opening PHP tag and inside of start, let's require that file in just so we don't forget later. So inside of roots, we want a new file. This is going to be our first root. We're going to call this home.php. All this is going to be is the root that uh, we saw earlier, so the example. So it's app get forward slash and then our callback just there. And what we're going to put in here is just some text. We're not going to be looking at views because this is mainly a kind of API style application. So in here, I'm just going to say pass in a short URL to get a full URL or something like that. You can obviously do whatever you want here. Now we're still getting a 404 because inside of roots, we're not including that home root. So let's do that now. So let's require in roots home.php like so. So there we go. So that's our home page. You can kind of do what you want. Now we need a route for actually redirecting if a code is supplied. So let's duplicate this down and let's say we're going to create a code.php route just in here. Let's create a new file called code.php. So this is going to be similar. It's going to be a get request to this, but we're going to create a, uh, a placeholder here, um, which is going to serve as whatever's passed after the uh, forward slash. And what we can then do is pick this up in here. So if I echo out code, for example, and we, I think we already requ required it in here. Yep. Yeah. So we're on the home page here. If I type in blah there, we echo out blah. So we're going to take this. This is going to be the short URL. Remember this whole part here will eventually be your domain. We're going to take this, look it up and do what we need to do with it. So that's our code route. What we're also going to do is because we need to use our app object, uh, we need to basically use Slim's functionality. We're going to say use app just at the end here. So we'll leave this empty just for now and we'll create our API folder here, which is going to store all of our API endpoints. And by endpoint, I just mean a URL that we hit to do something. Uh, and inside of this folder, I'm going to create generate.php. So generate.php is going to be slightly different because it's going to be a post route because we're posting a JSON payload through, which will make a lot more sense a bit later if that doesn't make too much sense. So we're going to call that generate we're going to cre create our callback there. Again, we're going to use app because we need to use that a little bit later. And here we have absolutely nothing. So last but not least, let's just include this into here. So API generate.php. So we have uh, three routes here now. So we can't actually hit the generate page because it's a post route as opposed to a get route. If we were to echo hello here, we don't see anything. If this was a get route, because we're making a get request through our browser, you can see it. So post will allow us to post data through to that route. It doesn't really matter, but this is the convention for a RESTful API. So now that we have created our home, which is a kind of pointless route, but it just gives us something to see on the home page, we've created our code route, which is going to allow the user to pass in that short code, and then that will redirect them off to the right place. And we've got generate, which will allow us from an API, from the API or this API, uh, go ahead and send a request to this route, and that will create a new database record. We are ready to move on to the next part, 
where we're going to do this part of it. So we're going to do the redirecting first rather than the inserting first. And this is pretty straightforward. So let's move on to the next part where we'll get that finished.